Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here on the channel and I'm sure you remember earlier on in the week we had a review and first look of the Winwing A320 FCU unit, comparing it with the Mini FCU and basically having a good look at the quality of the unit, how it felt and everything, but the one thing that we couldn't do in that video at the time was actually look to see how well it works within Microsoft Flight Simulator and getting the unit it's set up and the reason for that was because at the time that I produced the video the drivers for it weren't actually available well now they are so we're going to have a look at getting this unit up and running and seeing how it responds in Microsoft Flight Simulator now one thing I will warn you about straight off is this unit is advertised as plug-and-play and whilst that might eventually be the case actually getting this unit up and running and communicating with Microsoft Flight Simulator and the app that WinWing uses, an app called SimApp Pro, well, I've been having some real frustrations with. It is not been plain sailing and I have had to spend quite a bit of time just really looking around the app and trying to get it working without any sort of instructions at all. I found it not intuitive and the fact that it is now working is probably more down to luck than it is uh, technical skill something which for those of you who know me I am certainly lacking so I think it's well worth just taking a look at the app and showing you what I did to get this working as the units are going to start being delivered to you guys who have got them on order and I don't want you to uh, struggle and be as frustrated as I was so when you have your unit you'll have to go to the WinWing website and download the sim app Pro application. Now, before you go any further, at this point, it's advisable to disconnect any other hardware that you have got attached. So I have my side stick, I've got my Thrustmaster thrust levers, I've also got my Thrustmaster rudder pedals, and it will recognize all of these, but just to give you a heads up, you will need to disconnect all of these before you go any further. So make sure the WinWing FCU is plugged in via the USB cable and it will illuminate. When the program is running, this is what you're going to see, and you've just seen that pop up on screen as I plugged that in. Now the thing that really confused me is you can see here the game tab but there is nothing there for Microsoft Flight Simulator nor is there a place for you to actually configure and set up Microsoft Flight Simulator within the app something which caused me a great deal of frustration and confusion at the start. Now at the top left of this you can see a tab called devices. Let's click on that and if you press any of the buttons or turn any of the rotary dials, you'll see that it is logging all of the information. So it is connected and interfacing with the app okay. So this is all working. The next thing you will need to do then is make sure you have the latest firmware. It may even tell you that a firmware upgrade is available. So then click on this to update the WinWing FCU. At this point, it will tell you to remove all of your other pieces of hardware, which is why I say it's probably worth doing that prior to launching the app. So now even with that updated, I still wasn't getting any sort of feedback and communications between Microsoft Flight Simulator and the device. So the next option was to activate the virtual display mapping. Not entirely sure what that was. So I set that starting, but obviously it told me that I needed to activate it first. On activating it, it then tells you to restart WinWing's uh, Sim App Pro. So obviously we went and did this. And when I started to activate it the second time, it told me I needed to download something called VJoy. Again, no idea what that is, but I played ball and uh, set that downloading. Once Simat Pro had downloaded that, then you had to go through the Windows installation of the product, of which when this finishes, you have to restart your PC as well. Okay, so let's relaunch the PC, plug all the hardware back in, and get Microsoft Flight Simulator up and running. And then with everything back connected, USB cables, the WinWing FCU, my Thrustmaster hardware, now let's run the app and see what happens. 
So Microsoft Flight Simulator tells me that a new device has been detected. I have no idea what this is. I'm just going to click keep default and hope for the best. And now with the Wing Wing uh, Sim App Pro running in the background, um, it doesn't now seem to actually matter whether you have got the virtual uh, device mapping turned on or off. Here it is uh, turned on. It doesn't let you start it. But by some sort of sheer luck rather than skill, it seems my FCU is now working. So perhaps once you've gone through all that updating and installing the VJoy product, you just need the SimApp Pro to be running in the background, and that appears to be all you need. I do find hardware setups like this very frustrating. There's no clear instructions, and as I say, it was sheer dumb luck that this was working rather than any skill on my part. The Mini FCU is streets ahead. That literally is plug and play. But anyway, let's get on to actually looking at the product in Microsoft Flight Simulator, see how it responds. I'm testing it here in the video with the Phoenix A320, but it does work with the default A320 Neo and also the fly-by-wire. Now, as you can see, I'm turning the dials and obviously it syncs up just as you would expect it to. What I did find with the FCU unit, though, is that it is just sometimes a little bit slow to actually respond to um, the dial turns. So if you're turning the rotor knob to select a heading or altitude or something like that, then it's not sort of a smooth transition the numbers will jump and sometimes makes it a little bit difficult to nail on the heading or altitude that you want compare this to the mini FCU I do find the mini FCU to be much more responsive without any sort of lag the expedite button then that we spoke about earlier on in the week obviously missing intentionally on the wind wing FCU you can actually set this for a couple of different options it can still be the expedite button or you can also use it as the or config or as I'm going to set it to uh, my flight directors though it seems it only controls flight director one so you're still going to manually have to turn off the flight director two for your first officer the unit is quite lightweight for its size which is great however it does mean that when you are using the push pull functionality of it you probably are going to have to uh, use the bracket and get it screwed down to your desk because it will forever move which obviously you don't want. Again, the Mini FCU's got those suction cups underneath it which help even if you don't have that mounted to the FCU. I do like the angle that it is at though because the Wim Wing FCU is pointed directly at you so that's great. I haven't yet had chance to do a full flight with this unit working yet so for the next few live streams I am going to use this and we can talk about that as we're doing it. To be honest though at the moment first impressions I still think Think I would lean towards the Mini FCU just because of the response and because of how easy that is to set up. I would love to hear comments from you guys now after watching this video. Perhaps for those of you who may have used WinWing products before and some of their military hardware and the Sim App Pro, which I find just completely confusing. Uh, will I have set this up right or not? I don't know. It seems to be working, but that um, plug and play tagline, uh, it may Maybe plug and play it now it's set up but I'll be honest with you that setup was one of the most frustrating things uh, that I've done this week and I've got four kids so let me know in the comments below uh, what you think now that uh, you've seen it in action love to read all of those comments and uh, obviously any questions I'll try and reply to those uh, when I can thank you so much for watching I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video and found it useful if you have please don't forget to hit that like button and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live streams. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again on the next one. Bye bye for now.